Welcome back to Griddle Cookie More. If it's your first time here, thanks for coming. And if you haven't been here before, I would ask you to please subscribe to my channel. That'd be awesome. Also leave a like and I'd uh, love to hear a comment on the video or anything you want to put in there. So that would be cool. But for today, we're going to do the St. Louis Fat Burger. Going back in the 90s, there was a restaurant uh, in the city and one of my co-workers at a restaurant I used to work at uh, would, would pick them up for us. So it's a, it was just a super good kind of old fashioned hand patty burger on some on a bunch of Texas toast. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get on with it. All right, let's see what we're working with. So this beautiful burger from back in the day, and I think that restaurant still may be open today, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but basically, so we got two hand patted uh, five ounce patties right there, 80-20 ground beef, uh, you don't want to go anything leaner. We're gonna do three pieces of Texas toast, uh, buttered up and grilled. And by the way, a lot of people like to use mayonnaise on their bread and grill like that. Uh, curious what you prefer, leave in the comments. I prefer the butter, love the butter. Like that tastes better than the mayonnaise. I mean, the mayonnaise does a good job also, but let me know what you like, and if you've ever tried the mayonnaise, like on a grilled cheese or any type of bread like that, give it a try, see what you think. So, so anyway, so we got a bread there. Uh, cheese, we're doing a couple cheeses here. Uh, one slice of American and one slice of a St. Louis Pavel cheese. All right, we're gonna season up the burgers. I got some seasoning here. Uh, this one's here, it's got uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion in it. And then we're gonna make up a, a burger sauce here. Uh, so we're gonna, we're just gonna make it real simple. I'm just gonna mix up some mustard, some relish, uh, Worcestershire sauce, mayonnaise, and then ketchup. And then uh, we're gonna make up a little burger sauce. And also I don't have pictures here, but we're gonna have some shredded lettuce for it, some sliced tomatoes, and some onions that are gonna go on there also. So that is it for the ingredients. Time to get cooking. All right, let's make up some burger sauce here. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little mustard in there. Let me go give this a squirt out over here. All right. Get the spoon out of the way. Some little mustard in there. Perfect. And we do some mayonnaise. Oh crap! Didn't mean to do that. That wouldn't have been good, that went funner. Anyways, this is some Duke's mayonnaise in here. So let's get some mayonnaise in there. That looks good. A little ketchup. Beautiful. Two little Lee and Perrins here, a little Worcestershire sauce. that beautiful and let's get some relish in there Ooh, a lot of relish but I love relish gonna mix that up kind of like a little Big Mac sauce not really but Similar, but as long as they line all them sauces, but it's something really easy to whip up. Let's give it a taste here. Get the job done. Good stuff right there. All right, so we got our sauce ready. We're ready to do some cooking. So today we're going to do it in uh, on the old Blackstone. E-Series 22 inch electric grill. We're doing it inside because uh, you're getting ready to have a big snowstorm here. So let's uh, meet up at the grill. All righty, we're back. Let's get it going on. So let's first off, start with our beautiful patties right there. Two uh, five ounce ham patties. Let's get those on. And then, oh, by the way, 
Uh, this is a two zone, so you can set different temperatures. I got the left hand side at 450 degrees, right side at 350. We're gonna toast the buns, or the, not the buns, but the Texas toast over here. And we're gonna cook the burgers over here a little higher heat. So first time really doing burgers on this thing. So we'll see how it does. All right, so we got our burgers down. Now let's get some seasoning here. The salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. All right, we're gonna let that go. We'll be back shortly. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. Burgers coming along, uh, probably so that brown is starting to creep up inside. It's probably another another minute. I think we may be ready, ready for a flip here. So be back in about a minute and see how we're doing. All right, all right. Let's take a look here. Let's, let's get a little flip here. Let's see what kind of kind of crust we're working with. Oh, very nice, very nice. First time really making a burger. I mean, I cooked up some burgers throwing a soup, but. First time really putting a burger on there, letting it cook a while, but I have to be a, honestly surprised. A nice, good crust there, so get this other one over. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Hit it up with just a little more seasoning there. These are fairly thick, so uh, we're going to let them go a little bit before we throw some cheese on there. So let's get it a little bit longer. And once we get that, that point, that cheese. Uh, a little close to that, we'll start getting our Texas toast going. So let's give it about a minute or so, and then we'll, we'll uh, jump in on that Texas toast action. All right, while the burgers are getting close here, let's uh, go ahead and get our toast going. We got me some melted butter here. We're just gonna butter and butter up for uh, this uh, good old Texas toast here. Uh, Set that bad boy right there. You can uh, lay this on the good butter on the grill, stick it on there, or what I'm doing, brush it on. So I like to get a copious amount of uh, butter on there. So one down. Two. Turn it over a little bit. And then on my, I'm gonna have a, a piece in the middle here, so I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna butter up both sides of this. So we got buttery goodness on both sides and on the middle slice of Texas toast. Put some butter on that. Yeah, that's good stuff, boy. All right, let's throw some cheese up on this. That melting down. Take a peek at the bread there. That's starting to brown a little bit. Slide that over. Move some of our grease over. I love that non-stick, baby. It's like butter. Oh yeah, that's it. Get that camera get that. There we go, now getting that nice gold brown. I'm gonna go ahead and flip a piece over here. Get a little toast on the other side. Get that, get that bread nice and sturdy. So, this thing's gonna be a monster. Flip my middle piece over. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. Looking good there. Maybe about a, maybe about a minute to here. All right, there we go. Now we're getting a little, little, little crust there on the bottom. All right, so we're gonna start, start working here. We're gonna start building here. So, give me a second to get my camera situated. We're gonna build, we'll be back. All right, it's time to build this, this bad boy. That's they call it, the tinless fat burger. And we'll see why. Give us a second. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna put a little sauce here on the bottom. Then 
beautiful little bit of my onions on top. Grab our first patty here. Patty one. Get our piece of Texas toast down. Beautiful. Let's hit that up with some sauce. Got plenty of sauce on there. Beautiful. Let's get Patty too on there. Wow, it's hot. Little burnt cheese action there. The burnt cheese is always good. No. Oh. I'm gonna hit with the rest, the rest of the goods here. I'm tired. Not a big tomato fan, so just a couple of whole. A couple of thin slices. I'm gonna get that shredded lettuce all over it, like that. Get that top piece on. There we go. All right. I'm gonna get this thing situated. We'll be back. It'll be time to try it. All right. I move this thing over to the cutting board. We give it a cut in half so we can get a look look on the inside of it. Thing of beauty right there. Now the only thing to do is give it a try. All right, let me grab a hold of this thing. This thing gonna be messy as hell. But here we go. There it is. St. Louis Fat Burger. Thing as big as my head. Now let's dig in. There's some tomatoes, but I don't care because I'm not a big tomato fan. Oh hell yeah, that, that right there boy, that, that's the money right there, that is uh, one good burger. To me, when you ever, whether you use sourdough or Texas toast or whatever man, you get that butter grilled bread on there, get that texture, couple couple nice patties, whatever, so, you know, I mean I love smash burgers too, but when I mean, we did some thick ones here, a lot of people are anti-smash, but I love smash, but I like a thick burger too, or in this case we call it St. Louis Fat Burger, ah delicious. Real good, kind of like I remembered back uh, way back when. I really haven't made one ever uh, since then, so or since I bought one at the, you know got one at their restaurant. So uh, it's it's a winner. I mean, really you can't go wrong with any burger, but uh, just another burger that uh, that you can do. So means uh, world's the limit, limits the world, whatever you want to say. I'll probably edit that out because that sucks. But uh, yeah, do anything you want, any bread, any style patty. Load it up however you want, you name it. But that's it for today. That's the St. Louis Fat Burger. I think it's good. Uh, so I'm gonna get off the camera here uh, so I can start eating. This is my lunch too, so peace out.